Stop. Before you watch this video, make sure to hit subscribe, notification bell, and like. If you're here in the first 30 minutes I post this video, you'll get a shout out in the next video I post. Keep on enjoying the video. And, ha and please, I hope you enjoy this. Oh, and one more thing. For the shout out thing, you have to go down in the comments below and then type hashtag I want a shout out. So, see you. Hi, I'm Annabella, and today we will be drawing really adorable um, food animals, which is actually kind of unique, cute, uh, weird at the same time, but I don't think it's actually weird. But let's get on. So first, let's talk supplies. You'll need paper. Actually, it won't take a long time, and then it'll be pens. Okay, so let's start. So first, we're going to start with an adorable little turtle donut or donut turtle you can say anyway so first we're going to start with a nice circle that doesn't have to be perfect i've just been practicing for about 10 times it's fine if you don't get it correctly you can just restart or just keep on moving so then you just draw like a regular donut but don't add any decorations yet we got to get our so we're going to get this part right here and make it look more realistic, like the shadow, how it's 3D or 2D. Well, and then you get your little feet here, and more feet, if you want. And then for me, I just draw a sock for mine, the head, because turtle's head, no offense turtles, but I think they kind of look like socks, if you want to draw with it. And then I'm just going to color mine it. So, And then I'm gonna keep on coloring. coloring. So I like to choose like a dark-ish shade for my shells, cause um, or for something like that's really main for your drawing or whatever you're doing for a food or for an animal or for like literally anything. So, um, so this is why I'm using like a dark color but not too dark because if it's too dark you can't add any sprinkles or any like little small details if it's too dark something like black well you can't add any details because i feel like i always use the color black for my details and black on black does not show anything okay so that's mine, and I'm gonna add sprinkles. You could add sprinkles, but I'm just gonna add non-colorful sprinkles because I chose a dark color for my donuts frosting, so I have to choose an even darker color for my sprinkles for it to work. If you chose a light color, that is wonderful. That is like gonna be really nice, so you can use a bit darker, but not too dark like mine, even so that you can add colorful sprinkles. Mine, I can't really add color because most of my colors are pastel. I'm a fan of pastel. Okay, I'm gonna use light purple for mine. Okay, this isn't purple. This is Hydria Blue. I know every single name of my pens because I use them very often because I just love drawing. So that's our socks, that's our feet. This is like my skin color. And the skin, like, imagine if your feet were a different color than your body and your head. So that is your cute, adorable turtle. Wait, you gotta add eyes. How could it be a turtle without eyes? How could animals be animals without eyes? That is our adorable turtle. So I'm gonna write turtle. So next we are going to draw a hamburger dog. Isn't wouldn't that be adorable? Okay. So first you'll need to use your like your shade, pencil, anything. I'm just using a marker. So a hamburger dog literally basically starts with like that little like dead part of your burger and then you just go like here where you want your like eye to start so you just draw your eyes so that you know how big you want them to be i love big eyes because it makes them so adorable because well really big eyes and stuff are so adorable 
Um, so you'll see the outcome of it. Just promise, I promise, this is going to be adorable. I actually have two types of mouths I could show you, but I'm going to show you once I finish my doll. Um, okay, so you could do that type and that. You could add a nose, but I'm not going to add a nose if I do this type. But, um, I prefer no noses and a little shorter, so something like this. Something like that. Or, my per I prefer something like this. And then you add that nose right there. That looks adorable for dogs, but I'm going to go with this one. There we go. That's mine. And then, all you have to do is add a little tail. I like to add fluffy tails just to remind it for from my dog so we add some little arms right here those are my legs very stubby legs which makes it even more adorable so it's literally laying on top of our cheese we gotta make our cheese look melty and there we go and then we add our ham I'm not sure. I don't think it's actually ham, but I don't know. Beef? Yeah, I think it's beef now. That's a beef. And then next, I'm not going to add veggies because I don't like veggies. Mostly veggies make my burger look too thick. Even if you like veggies, I don't prefer adding veggies. I don't recommend it, but you could. I mean, who knows? You might be a better drawer than me, so I'm going to add my beef. I'm not going to do upside down for a dog because so, I'll feel bad for it, and I do... I'm a really dog specialist, I guess, but I really do feel bad for even drawing for dogs. So, that is our adorable dog. We could color it in, but okay, fine, we'll color it in. Oh no, that's the color of cheese. Okay, I guess I'll just color the cheese right here. I'll find a different shade later. Okay, tip, always, always. The tip is always try out the color you're going to use if you really don't want to mess up your drawing. If you're all like, oh, I could just do it again. I'm fine with messing everything up. You could definitely just like randomly do everything. But okay, let's just hope this is... Okay, this one's good. This one's good. Um, I like to like cover in everything with the same style of strokes until I can't. Because too many different types of strokes will look really unbalanced. And I like balanced drawings here. I think you do too, but if you don't, that doesn't make you weird, okay? I mean, maybe it does, but I don't care. I just, I just color, I just draw. This is just adorable. Okay. Don't forget those little hands, otherwise it's going to be unrealistic. Those hands are part of the puppy which should be the same color as yeah so we're just gonna go like that i mean oops go like that I'll finish that part and that. Now, last is for the beef. My puppy looks a little dark. That's fine. This uh, is kind of called redwood, so I hope this works. Yes, it works a lot. I think I kind of got my caps mixed up. This is actually dark coffee, deep coffee, but that's fine. As long as it's the right shape. So this is our adorable puppy. Remember, you do not have to do it exactly like mine. Whatever you do, I bet it's going to be perfect. Here are some different styles I like to do for my mouth. That's the nose. You can add nose if you want, but you don't have to. Um, well, yeah, that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and notification bell so you never miss anything. Goodbye.